Hi everybody! So I went to the US for uh, Christmas and New Year, kind of, not really, it was more to because I had to renew my license. While I was there I bought zero video games, woo uh, But I got a bunch of my own stuff uh, from my house in the US to bring back because someone in my family I've been allowing to live in my house rent free. I've been paying the insurance and the property tax and that person actually had the nerve to say to me, and that's all you do! So I'm not really a fan of that person right now but uh yeah anyway don't let your relatives live in your house for free because it's all there's liability issues and plus she's trashing the place so now i pay an extra hundred dollars a month for storage that i shouldn't need and uh anyway long story look here's a video game thing um this i believe my memory is not so awesome but i think this is uh or was the first Super Nintendo I ever owned and the story goes that I was on a ski trip with a good friend of mine and we had nothing to do at night and uh, I was like well I have a credit card let's go buy stuff so we went to Toys R Us I believe it was which is somewhat close to where we were staying or maybe it was just a, like a uh, Fred Meyer or Walmart I have no idea anyway I went and I bought uh, I think again this set uh, plus Mortal Kombat 2 Super R-Type uh, Earthworm Jim, and maybe one other game that I can't remember. I think there were five games all together. In any case, I was tired of Mario at the time, so I just didn't go in for Mario at all. I still never finished Super Mario World, but I want to say I think this is the one that I had, so I, I, it, I sold it a long time ago when I was in university. But I bought it again, and this is it, and it's as you see there, whatever. Yay! So that's, you know, something that's been in the U.S. for years, and I finally brought it. I, for a long time, I wasn't sure, and I mean, I guess I'm never really totally sure, but, you know, whether I was going to live in the U.S. or here or split my time. But at this moment, it seems like I'm pretty much in Japan for the long haul, and I just want to sell that house in the U.S., but first I have to get the undesired occupant out of it. So, uh, anyway, so more stuff. This is still sealed, I think, or no, maybe not. I guess not. Um... Yeah, but it does have the stuff in it. So this is <laughs> this uh, GoldenEye 007 for the Wii. And it later came out for the PS3 and maybe, I can't remember if it came out for the 360, but it came with this golden uh, controller. You could also use the aim controls with the remote. So that's cool. And I don't know, only at Walmart, bonus exclusive t-shirt. Well, I don't think I got the t-shirt. That's that's really frustrating because I needed that t-shirt. See? Anyway, I don't remember the story about all these because I've had them for years. I mean, my father passed away in 2014 and left me in that house. And a lot of this stuff was there before he died. So I don't even know. Uh, okay, so here is a boxed Tiger Heli for the NES. And like I said, I, I think I said, I thought it. Don't know if I said it. I didn't buy any video game stuff while I was back. I was too busy dealing with the issues having to do with the person who's living in my house, rent free, um, as well as, you know, just other things. So I bought nothing. I just brought back stuff that I already owned. So it's a repick up video. Super Mario All Stars with the fancy box. Yay. Wee. Wee. What else? Ah, here is. Ah, uh, this box got a little smashed, but it's still sealed. Uh, this game, Mild Fantasy Violence, Suggestive Themes, Partial Nudity. What could it be? It's time to shoot the core. Whew, it's excellent. It's Otomedius. Excellent. Uh, inspired by the legendary Gradius. Okay, so, series. Put that, uh, that's 360. I can go there. Yay. Ooh, Wii U. Now, this is a random one. I don't know why I have this. I must, it must have been, like, on sale. Super cheap. And this has not been opened yet, either. And the box got a little... Oh, stupid blurry blur. The, oh, man. The voice. I want you. So, something from my Wii U shelf. Yay! Yay! Get over there. Yay! I want you. And every time in between the... Showing the one thing and then going to the other thing, it keeps going blurry. And it's really hard to remember to keep focusing it. For the Genesis... This is one of those games that I don't love. It's okay. But I feel like I have to have it to go with my Genesis shooter collection. On my head, I pre-ordered something today, which not cheap, but in order to have that shelf be what I consider complete, 
I needed it, but that's another video. Subterranea. This is not uh, for scrolling. You have to control where you go with your ship as well as shoot stuff, but it's a pretty good game. It's just I'm not as much of a fan of such games as I am before scrolling. Now, a lot of this stuff that I'm showing has come from trades, and I won't remember all of it, but I'm pretty sure this came from Mr. Dude. So, Mr. Dude, finally, this has made its way to Japan, and a lot of the stuff you gave me is still in that storage locker, but at least it's somewhere safe now as opposed to before when it was in a house that seems like it's just being lived in by squatters, but only one squatter, and a dog, and a cat, and some mice, apparently, judging by the drawer in the kitchen that I opened, but that's another story. Oh, my head is disgusting. It was a nice house before she moved in. I'm not happy about this, as you may be able to tell. I don't remember where this came from, but it's empty. This is kind of dirty. I'll see if I can get it cleaned up a bit. But it's a neat little um, disc uh, folder for loose discs. And I may or may not have some burned Dreamcast discs. And I may or may not. I actually do have some, you know, that are just without cases. So I'll have to put something in there. But that's a neat thing to have. Next, here's a bunch of, like, manuals. And I don't know what the story is with these. I want to say maybe Grub Gun gave me this. But I'm not sure. Uh, what's this? Super Black Bass. I, I don't know. I think I got these with games. And then, I don't know why. Anyway, I have them. So, manuals. Yay. I like them. I have a stack of those. So, this one's seen better days, but still happy to have it. This one I just threw in the pile because it, it was laying around. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these I really don't know where they came from, but honestly, maybe trades. And, you know, it's fun. Manuals, fun. Oh, that might be one of the other games that I bought, actually. Uh, I don't know. I definitely bought Mortal Kombat 2. Not 3, but there you go. There's a manual for that. And then this was in uh, one of those, like, plastic boxes for a game, and I just thought it was neat that somebody took the time to make this, so I took it out. But I was trying to reduce space, so I didn't bring back most of those plastic cases. I just brought back the games. And here's one of them. Wow. Focus. Heart of the Maelstrom. Wizardry 6. What are the chances that I'll... Was it... Hey? Well, that's weird. So it says Wizardry 5 here. Here. I guess it still says Wizardry 5, and then that's just the sword. Well, that's a little confusing. Anyway, I don't know anything about that series. Um, trying to keep some semblance of order. I'll try to stick with Super Nintendo carts. Here's one. Wow, that was blurry. Sorry. Biometal. Yay. So this has totally different music than the Japanese version, so that's cool. Here we go. I believe I have a sealed copy of this so it's nice to have this loose i never feel like i need to open the sealed one i have a few sealed games that i don't plan to open but this one Woo! finally <laughs> the worst shoot 'em up on the super nintendo i think pretty much there's really no argument so i had to have it of course <laughs> d-force star fox and honestly, I don't know which of these I have on my shelf upstairs. I'll have to go through my list on my blog. It's often neglected and usually neglected. And update it. Here's Raiden Trad. I have all the shoot 'em ups for the Super Famicom, but um, because I just like spending money, apparently. I want to have them all on the Super Nintendo US as well. This has a lot of stickers on it. This is Sequest OSV, whatever. Anyway. Uh, you go over there. Oh, it's out of screen. Blurry! So blurry. <sighs> okay, but it was neat because I don't remember, you know, what I had. It's been years, like I said. So some of the stuff I found was, you know, quite uh, a nice surprise, like this one. And honestly, I can't keep track of what's what because the names are different uh, between the Japanese and uh, the, the U.S. releases of these shoot 'em ups especially. So I'm not even going to try, because I'll probably say the wrong thing. Yay. All right. Oh, it's hot in here. I need to turn the heater off. Uh, let's see here. Here's a couple more cartridges. And I've got some boxes. This is a cleaning cartridge for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And I think there are a few 
NES cards upstairs, so that's fun. And then this one I definitely already have here on my shelf, but I brought it back because I don't know, because it's treasure. And I wanted to save it from the storage room. There's some great stuff in that storage room. I just couldn't fit it in my suitcase. I actually paid like $200 to get, to have another suitcase full of stuff to bring back. Uh, what do we have here? This is something probably from a trade. And I don't know, do I have to open it? I guess I do. It's in a Ziploc bag. Oh, my head, it's sealed. Well, hello. Well, wow. Maybe I bought that on eBay. I don't remember having this. Huh, cool. So this is sealed. Yay. This is Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest uh, sealed. That might be worth a dollar or two. That's maybe, maybe I'm the one who put it in a plastic bag. And then there are these, speaking of sealed, seals. But the thing is, that's Majora's Mask, and I don't know what's going on with this. Someone tell me if these seals came with the game or what the deal is there. I don't know why they're in with it, but I'm putting it back, putting them back in there. What a cool thing to find. I did, I'm just right now, at this moment, realizing that it's sealed, so I'll have to put it in a better. Are you not? Ugh, focus issues. On the big screen, it's really out of focus. On my camera screen, it looks bad, so sorry about that. Anyway, please try to disregard the focus issues. That's pretty neat. I'm just now realizing that was sealed. So happy day. Oh, stupid focus. Oh, it's stinking hot in here. Right, here's something exciting. This is a boxed Atari Lynx AC adapter. Everyone needs this in their game collection. If you don't have that, I don't know. I don't think you can really consider yourself a true gamer, let alone a game collector, please. Okay, what's next? How about a bunch of PSP games? Most of which I don't know that much about because, oh my head, I have so much more stuff. Look at the sofa. Um, hope I finish this before my wife gets home. She's shopping for new glasses. <laughs> what am I on about? Okay, so a lot of these came from uh, Jason C. Uh, Gamer Emporium, and, and he changed his name, and I don't remember. It doesn't matter because he doesn't do YouTube anymore. But Jason, thanks again. So I, I think this is one of those trades where like, he changed his mind a lot. I don't know if he still does. But um, anyway, he's like, oh man, I gave you all those PSP RPGs. Oh no, and I'm not showing the back. I'm sorry, I'm a bad person. So I'm just gonna pile them on there. This was that. And I'm not saying anything about them because I don't know anything about them. I just knew that I wanted some PSP games and I think I traded uh, a PC Engine Duo R for this and a bunch of other stuff. Just a whole bunch of PSP stuff. And I think we were both happy with the trade at the time, otherwise we wouldn't have made it, but he didn't keep that for very long. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, all of my stuff just mostly went in a box, and I haven't done anything with it for five or six or seven years. I don't know when that all happened. Oh, blurry. And some of these aren't from him. Like, I would buy stuff on eBay or on um, Amazon that could only be shipped to the U.S. and have it shipped to my house in the U.S. and then when I would go back to visit, it would be there waiting for me. But not everything, and who knows what I, what I paid for that I didn't get. One thing that I paid for that I never got was Ninja Gaiden 3 complete in box. I paid like 80 bucks for that, and that's just nowhere. So it either got stolen out of the mailbox or never got shipped, or who knows. But yeah, it's it's a risky thing. What this is sealed too? On the head. I don't think it's worth anything, but there you go. I don't know why I have that. I mean, I guess Jason maybe uh, traded it to me sealed. So whatevs. One of the best games everyone should have their PSP top 10, I reckon right there. And next. Very involved RPG series, apparently. Don't, oh, speaking of, there's a second one. I think there are three. There's a lot, a lot of content in those games. From what I understand, here you go. Just, you know, keeping it simple. Showing you a bunch of crap. Not talking about it too much, because I have not that much to say, to be honest. And I knew some of these were there, but I didn't know there were this many. I mean, there's just a ton. My PSP collection just went. I mean, I guess I already had them, but ew, this is kind of dirty, but this is another great game for the PSP. I mean, outside of RPGs, right? Because there's there are a lot of really good RPGs. And this one's sealed on my head. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna put my sealed ones maybe in a separate spot. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, you, sealed, you go up there. Uh, okay, next is this one. Right, a few more RPGs. I guess they're not all RPGs, but uh, PSP games. If they're not RPGs, there's a fair chance, like this one, I'm sure that I bought this on eBay. Because I gotta have all the shoot 'em ups on every system, pretty much. And uh, getting close. Post uh, from NES onward. There are a few on the NES, I suppose I don't have, but not many. And I'm missing a few on the Saturn and the Dreamcast and the uh, PlayStation. I don't know many more. <laughs> okay, so this was a surprise. Uh, I found a bunch of Sega CD games that I forgot that I owned. And I don't know who I got these from either, but here they are. And I'm kind of running out of places to put stuff. I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken tonight. Chicken tonight. You remember those uh, commercials? Sorry, that was baseball tonight. Ground Zero, Texas. Love the Sega CD cases because they're just stupidly massive. And this is a neat one. Um, recently re-released by Limited Run Games, I think. I don't remember if I bought that one or not. And this one's probably super awesome because all games based on movies are super awesome. Speak, and then I mentioned, I, I showed something from the Atari Lynx, and I almost forgot to show you this. This is new, I think. It's an Atari Lynx carry case. So I need to stick my Atari Lynx in there and rock and roll hoochie coo. That's what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. One more Sega CD game that I see. And golf games are just good. I feel like they age decently. Not as well as shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em ups and RPGs age the best, I reckon. And maybe scrolling platformers. Another sealed game. <sighs> okay. PS3. Not so retro anymore. And another sealed game for the PS3. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I forgot sealed games go up here. I might have missed a few. Like, I didn't notice that they were sealed. This is sealed. <laughs> oh, my. Some reason I bought two of these, I think, or maybe I accidentally ordered two of them. So, yeah. Hello. Speaking of ordering things, that's probably something I ordered right now. Right. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna do something that I don't usually do. I've got a few more here to show you, but I don't have time and I don't have sofa space because look, it's just, it's nuts. So let me show you what I've got, and then the rest will be in part two. So Hot Shots Golf 4! This game is awesome! I played the Japanese one. It's one of the games that really got me back into gaming. And I'm happy to have this in my actual collection here in Japan. Because, man, I love this game. It's so good. So good. So good. Oh my head, it's so good. And because of that game, I'm spoiled with golf games. If you can't record your best shots to look at over and over again, uh, I just feel like that golf, what, that golf game, if it doesn't do that, is lacking, you know? So that's just one of those things. Why am I putting pinball so prominently display? I don't know. Let's prominently display this. Yeah! Hoi! 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 What does hoi even mean? It means the. It means the, plural, in Greek. Okay, hoi polloi. So if you say the hoi polloi, you're being redundant because you're saying the, the people. Common people. Anyway, so I knew I had this, didn't know where it was. Now I do. It's in my hand. Ho, ho, ho. I finished this game. Proud gamer moment. And uh, I loved it. It was my first Zelda game, and it's one of my favorites. Now my favorite, of course, is, uh, not of course, is Breath of the Wild. But, yeah, and this next pile should go pretty quickly. So this is also from Grub Gun. This is Donkey Konga, but I'm pretty sure it has totally different songs than the Japanese one that I have. So I want to get the other ones that are not Japanese as well. Okay. I mean, Rocky. Rocky. Don't know if this is any good. But it's fun to have some PlayStation 2. And I, I left a bunch of Xbox, original Xbox and PlayStation 2 games because I didn't have room, but I had to make sure that I got Strike Force blowing. I don't know why. Like, why did this make the cut? <sighs> Who knows? Who knows why I do the things I do? Cat, go away. So this is just a bunch of, what are these, demo discs? And I think that's awesome. 
and I bought them at Goodwill and I got them for a song like a dollar or something. And the story was, I don't know what the story was, but I was, I sweet talked to the person at the register and got a great deal. So I'll just quickly go through them. Hopefully it's somewhat focused as I do that. I love these kind of things. They're great. And getting heavy. <laughs> All right. And I'll, I'll quickly go through the back, I guess, too, of these, just because, why not? So that's the fronts. Here's the backs. I don't remember where I started, so probably going to show some stuff more than once or zero. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I remember that guy. All right, and that's all for this video, and hopefully I'll get around to making a part two. Um, but I feel like I showed enough, right? It's a lot of stuff. Yay, now I have to somehow get it back in the boxes and back to where it came from. Yay. <sighs> That'll make a good screenshot, right? <sighs> okay. Thanks for watching. Um, Happy New Year. I made another video about stuff I picked up at the super cheap local game store, but it's pretty boring. I don't know if I'll ever make it public, but this I'm pretty sure I will because it's fun and exciting. Re-pickups. Woohoo! Love you. Bye. Why are you eating the Christmas tree, cat? Uh, I guess I need to take that down. Seriously, he's eating the Christmas tree. Stop it. Stop eating the Christmas tree. It's plastic, dude. <laughs>